everyone. Last week we learned about percussion instruments that we have around the room, and this week we're going to be playing a new game with that. We'll get to that in just a second. I just want to review some of the instruments that we talked about last week. So one of them, the first one, is the cowbell. If you remember from last week, the cowbell was one that you have in one hand, and then you take a mallet and you hit it with the, you hit the cowbell. And it makes that noise. One more time. So like that. That's the cowbell. The next one is the gong. Now remember, this one's a really small gong. Usually gongs are a lot bigger, kind of like this. So this one's a little bit smaller, but it'll still sound like a gong. As you saw, I hit it with a mallet right here close to the middle. So listen one more time. That one gets pretty loud, doesn't it? Next one, this is a kibasa. This one has some plastic um, around the handle with metal wrapped around on the inside with metal beads on top of that wrap and when you press it together like this and squeeze um, and move it like this, it makes that kind of rattling sound, right? Yeah, so this is the kibasa. This instrument, remember from last week, was called the tank plank. This has different pieces of wood here, little wooden planks here. And you play it with a mallet, either like this. going around, or on the inside. So a couple of different ways to play that one. These are the claves. They're just pieces of wood that you hit together. Claves, one more time. Next, we have the triangle, which you use a triangle beater, that's the name of this thing, to make sound on it, like I just did there. So that's the triangle. One more time, triangle. Next, we have the tambourine. Where you hold it in one hand, we can shake it. We can hit it, or you can do both. So that's a tambourine. Next we have the Chinese finger symbols. So they're tiny little symbols, kind of like the gong, but they're a little bit smaller and they're a little bit differently shaped, but they are made out of metal. So you hit them together and it makes this sound. All right, so that's the Chinese finger symbol. One more time. All right, next to last instrument I'll be talking about today is the Wiro. It's one that kind of looks like a fish, right? So this is the Wiro, and you use a mallet like this, like we've been using for some of the other instruments, and you take the stick side of it, and you run it along the ridges that we have here, and it makes this sound. So that is the Wiro. All right, listen to it one more time. This is the Wiro. Finally, these are the maracas. You just shake them in your hands like that. I'm pretty sure we've all seen and probably played these too in music class. So these are the maracas. So now that we've reviewed all those instruments, we're going to play a little game with them. And this game is called Horton Hears a Blank. The reason I say blank there is because you don't know what instrument you're going to be hearing. I'm going to be having the instrument hidden behind this piano when I play it, and you'll have to do your best to guess what instrument I'm playing
based off of what we just uh, reviewed. So it will be the same 10 instruments, just in a different order. So when you're doing this, just write out in the comment section what you think each one is, and then if you got it right at the end. All right, so I'm going to start with our first instrument. All right, so that was the first one. I'll give you another listen. Make sure you write down, um, you type down in the comment section what you think this is. guessed it was the clave's you were right it's the clave all right see the next one this is number two one more time on that this is number two still Write it down. Write down what you think it is. All right. If you guessed it was the Wiro, you got it right. That was the Wiro. That was number two. Next is number three. different sounds. I'll play it again. This is number three. All right, I'll give you a few more seconds to write down what that one was. All right, number three was the tank plank. Did you get that one right? Make sure you write down whether you got the guess right or not. It's okay if you didn't, because we're still learning these. All right, here's number four. Number four. Right, I'll give you another one. That one kind of went a little wild on me. Number four, I'll play it one more time. All right, write down your guess. All right, if you guessed it was the gong, you were correct. Make sure you mark whether you got your guess right or no. Were you close at least? Again, this is number five. All right, write it down, write it down. All right, number five was the cowbell. This was the cowbell, number five. That was the cowbell. Number six. Number six. I'll do that one one more time. This is number six. All right, write it down. Write down your best guess for that one. All right. If you guessed it was the kibasa, then you were right. This is the kibasa. Remember, this is the one we hold in our hand and it scratches metal against metal. That is the pasta. All right, number seven. Number seven. All right, I'll 
I'll play that one one more time. Number seven. All right, that was number seven. I'll write it down. I'll give you a few more seconds. All right, if you guessed number seven was the Chinese finger symbols, then you were correct. Number eight. Coming up. This is number eight. I'll play that one one more time. Number eight. All right, I'll give you a few more seconds to write down number eight. All right, number eight was the triangle. Make sure you mark down if you got your guess right or it wasn't quite right there. Number nine. Number nine. This is number nine. I'll play it one more time. Number nine. If you want a second to write down number nine, what's your best guess? What's your best guess? Number nine was the tambourine. Number nine was the tambourine. All right, this is your last one. This is number 10. Should you write down number 10? Listen carefully. All right. Number 10 again, I'll play number 10 again. I'll give you a few more seconds to write down number 10. What's your best guess? This is the last one. All right, number 10 was the maracas. All right, so make sure you write down or you have written down all numbers 1 through 10 and what your guess was before you uh, saw what instrument was and then what it was afterwards. Did you get it right? Did you not get it right? Were you close? Some of those sounded a little bit um, alike, some of those not so much. So tell me what your thoughts were. What was your favorite instrument that you heard out of all those? All right, I will see you next week with another video.